Now a bit of a change of pace. India has successfully launched its first satellite to study black holes and other celestial objects as it seeks to deepen its presence in space ahead of an ambitious crewed mission next year. Joining me now is ANU astrophysicist and cosmologist Brad Tucker. Brad, thanks so much for your time. Yeah. NASA launched a similar mission in 2021 and has made some fascinating discoveries. Can you talk us through them and what this latest launch is hoping to achieve yeah so so yeah this this indian satellite x pole which is the an x-ray pole at amateur so similar to as you said this nasa mission and what it's doing is looking firstly at x-ray light from things like black holes black holes or anything that's really energetic emits lots of x-rays now these are really hard to detect so you have to do it from space because our earth's atmosphere blocks it and you need special instruments to measure this and in the past nasa has shown a lot of the subtle activity that happens right near the boundary uh, of the black hole essentially where stuff falls in where all the gas and stuff is being swallowed up and so this india's mission is going to look at specific black hole targets to complement that NASA mission. So essentially, it's extending what's already been doing with NASA to more targets, a larger part of the universe, and, and, and in a complementary way. And you know, everywhere we look at India, they're doing a lot of these things that are second or third or fourth on the list between the likes of the US, uh, China, and Russia. So you know, we celebrated their milestone of landing on the moon last year. It really just shows how fast they are moving, and as you said, looking forward to getting their own crew uh, into space on an Indian rocket in the coming year. Really a major player in that space race mm. now, but that those uh, black holes, so fascinating. Uh, the year ahead is promising some spectacular pursuits in space, but perhaps the most exciting is NASA's Artemis II mission to the moon. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, this is one that we, we've been waiting a long way for a while now, where this is the, the first sending of people around the moon. Now, Artemis II won't land on the moon, but it will send humans around the moon. Uh, and the idea being that um, it will be in the space launch system, NASA's rocket, in the Orion capsule. They will do essentially a 10-day journey into space going around and coming back. And this will be the, the test and final mission before in 2025, they actually send humans to land on the moon. And, and the moon's going to be the theme of the year. We have so many countries launching missions to the moon. Uh, Japan will be landing on the moon in the next few weeks. And to support those Artemis missions, U.S. companies will be sending supplies and experiments and cargo to the moon's surface to aid in the 2025 operations of humans there. So it's going to be a huge theme in 2024, and that is all about the moon. I love it. Uh, the moon is uh, the place to be, it seems. I know a few people I'd like to send there myself. Yeah. Um, Australia is set to make history, launching the first locally made rocket from remote Queensland. When is this due to happen and what can we expect? Yeah, it's going to be an exciting one, you know, it, and it builds off the history. Uh, Rayasat, which was Australia's first satellite, uh, most people don't realise Australia was the third country to build and launch a satellite from its own territory. But what Gilmore Space in Queensland is doing is they've built their own rocket. It will be launched from Australia, as he said, in Bowen in Queensland, uh, and launching an Australian payload into space. So it's it's going to happen in the early part of 2024. Um, they're finishing the infrastructure at the launch site, as you're seeing on the screen now. Um, they're awaiting now the final approvals from the Australian Space Agency, which is essentially the safety checks for both the rocket and the rocket site. And so we can expect probably, you know, before Easter time, I think is the hope that we will see this huge milestone. Uh, and this may be another theme of the year. We already have groups like Equatorial Launch Australia that has set up its own launch facility to launch in, the, in 2022 NASA rockets and is looking at other customers this year as well, plus Southern Launch uh, in South Australia. So this could be a big year in marking Australia, sending yeah. things into space and not just building them. So exciting. Thank you, Brad Tucker, so much no for worries. explaining it so simply for us as well.